Well, kind of a gray day today. Maybe today is the day to just all the rest of my off-grid stuff. Let's see what the uh, watt meters are doing. Uh, you can see just a couple watts coming in on these panels. Only got about seven or eight watts in this gray sky going into the grid. So I can probably turn off the uh, turn off my grid tie here and get things uh, wired up. Well, got it mounted, got it all wired up. Still have a gray day. Got my batteries set up on a temporary little stand. Now I'll probably build a, a better wooden stand there. But I got my Blue Sky Solar Boost. And I got my gray box. I got five grid tie inverters with five meters. Got room down in that uh, lower corner there for a sixth grid tie inverter because I plan to build a, uh, a tracker with a, another solar panel on it over the winter. Tell we're not getting any real watts here today. It's just been gray all day. But the grid tie inverters are putting out a, a few watts on each panel. And uh, as I mentioned, when I flip one of these switches, let me, right now the down position is the go to the grid position. So I go up to this first meter here. Reading 1.9, I'll flip the switch. And you can see it disconnects the grid tie inverter. Flip it back on. And it starts registering again. So that's. That's how that works. Then the up position is for amps to the charge controller. So I can individually flip those. I just heard the charge controller come on. I'm not getting any amps reading here because we really just don't have any solar power. But we are charging, according to my trimetric here. So you're witnessing the first charging uh, going on with my system here. So let's take a look inside and see how it's wired up. So there's inside the charge controller. And here's inside the uh, gray box. I come in from the PV here, I go up and I tie the grounds of the PV together, I tie the grounds of the grid tie inverters together, they just come down and go out. I've got <coughs> the positives from the PV going across to the centers of the switches, and the top part of the switches feed back out to the grid tie inverters, the bottom half go to the positive bus bar which feeds into the ammeter which then goes to the charge controller. And this last switch over here is for that sixth grid tie inverter that uh, will go with my tracker system that I'll build this winter. So then I come out of the uh, box with the positive and negative down to the battery bank. Pretty straightforward. I also have positive and negative going up into the charge controller for the PV input and for the battery out. So everything seems to look work pretty good on the first test. When I get a little more sun, we'll see how that battery bank comes up. Got it set for, programmed it on the trimetric to uh, indicate fully charged at 14.3 which is also the point that I set 
for the uh, solar boost. All right, so I'll do a little initial test here. So if I'm just getting like seven to eight to ten watts into the grid, it's very there's like no sun. It's really cloudy. But if I go over, I have to set on amps, then I switch all my switches to uh, charge. You'll hear the charger come on, and then we'll we should be seeing with the volts at 12 and a half volts. And we're doing, uh, let's say, 10 watts into the grid. That may be around an amp that we should see jumping into the charging if we switch it over to charge the battery. I just heard the charge controller come on. And sure enough, we've got our one amp. So the watts that we were normally running into the grid, which now they're all zeroed out up here, is now fully used for charging the battery. Getting about one amp, which at 12 and a half volts is a little over 12 watts. Now my meter obviously is just barely above zero. This is about the lowest I'll probably ever see it, but it's kind of good to see that the charge light comes on, charge light comes on. Everything's looking great. And the battery voltage is coming up.